Hello everyone, here I have an Xbox One X and the issue is when you press the power button it boots up but it says no signal and even if you do a hard boot reboot it doesn't work. So inside there could be a possible couple issues. Um, potential entries is this HDMI chip right here. It could be your HDMI port. It could be your hard drive too because it won't boot if you have a corrupted hard drive. And you also have these coils here. These should uh, go to the HDMI chip and they should read uh, uh, basically a short from the top to the bottom there. Um, so these coils do go bad sometimes. And over here you have your HDMI boot IC, um, booster IC there. And if you have a short from pin 19 on the HDMI port to ground, that could be this chip here, U21. So I'll be showing you how to test everything out and uh, how to take it off. There are two screws on the front. After removing that, this slides uh, back and then uh, up. And then you have access to some screws at the top. So you just remove all the screws that you have access to there. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. You have a couple long screws that go right down into the printed circuit board and then a couple smaller screws as well and then along the outside you have the power button and then you also have the wi-fi module that you can remove before those things removed we can take off the metal casing i really like the xbox one with the metal housing it just gives it more sturb um it's more sturdy there and then we can remove the power supply this goes up and then there's a uh, the fan as well the cd has the sata connector and then the power uh, connector as well you can remove that and they're just kind of sandwiched uh, on top of each other underneath that is your hard drive and i think the very first thing you would want to do is try to put in a, a other hard drive that you have and uh, verify that it's not a hard drive issue um, and if you still have an issue then you have to keep on removing the board and to get out of all this circuitry, there's a little X bracket. This using a screwdriver on the side, you can kind of pry up on one side and then push down. We can get the heat sink off. With the heat sink removed, then we can we can see all the different uh, circuits there. You can see the HDMI chip, and uh, it's a TDP158. You can see all the little coils, and we can test out everything uh, with it having the circuit board out of it as well. So after an inspection, it looked like this HDMI um, chip uh, port was okay, but just to make sure I put some flux and use my soldering iron to go through the little, um, the little pads there. And I ordered a new HDMI timer IC because usually those, that's the main culprit. And so I put some uh, heat tape and used my heat gun just heating it all up. Uh, there this one was a little bit stubborn it took a little bit more time to heat it up but after getting it uh, nice and warm it was able to be removed and then you can see the pads there uh, i'm just putting some flux in this removing some of the old solder because the old solder it, it doesn't uh, it has a higher melting point and so i'll be putting some low melt solder on and that's what i'm doing right now just putting it on the pads just having a little uh, ball of solder on the siren, soldering iron and then just drawing it across the pads with lots of flux again. Flux is your friend when you're doing these kind of repairs. Okay and then after having everything on there should just be a little bit of solder also on the, the metal um, the mid the pad in the middle as well and then we can heat this up and we'll be putting our HDMI timer IC on and see if we can get this Xbox back and running. So here we go. We have uh, everything. The pads are looking nice. And then uh, here's the HDMI chip. And I'll just be putting roughly in the middle, just heating it up with my heat gun, kind of melting the solder. There we go. You can see it's getting, there we go. It's more liquidy now. And then we just put it right in the middle and looking on the there's a little dot for the first pin okay you want to make sure the dots represent in the same location so there's the white dot on the print circuit board and on the chip just make sure that that's aligned up there get it roughly in the middle and then you can just tap it with your 
tweezers to kind of get it into the to the middle and uh, put a little bit of flux to if if it's getting a little bit sticky there and then after heating up I'm just pre uh, pressing down to get the contacts good now I can just examine the contacts there they're all lined up on each of the side that's looking good now, this on the right hand side it's looking good as well everything's seeming to be fine and we'll just check out on the other side as well uh, yeah it's looking good so this repair does require kind of like a scope if you're gonna do it you could do it without it but it's a little bit hard to verify that it's going good so here we go I put it all back together and the signal is working so that's how to fix your Xbox you can change the timer IC and then you can get back to playing if you enjoy electronic repairs you can uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video